Therefore, the Holocaust is unprecedented. It is not unique. Because if I said it, it was unique, I would mean by that that it cannot ever happen again. But that's an obvious mistake. Anything that is done by humans can be repeated by humans in a different way, but it can be repeated. And therefore, it's not unique. But it never happened before the Holocaust. Some of what I said just now happened after the Holocaust. In Rwanda, the Hutu power people wanted to annihilate every single Tutsi in Rwanda. Now, don't tell me that they did not read about the Holocaust. The ideologues of the Hutu power, one of them is sit, still sitting in jail in Mali. His name is Ferdinand Nahimana. Studied at the best French and Belgian universities. Philosopher who produced this kind of stuff. They knew, they learned. So the Holocaust is not unique. It's unprecedented. But if you want to study genocide, you have to start, I think, with the most extreme case. And the most extreme case is the case that I mentioned, which is extreme again, not because of the suffering, not because of the numbers, but because of the elements that go into it. Can we teach that complicated thing? Yes, I think we can. We need multiplicators to do that. That's what I understand you are. People who can study this in some detail, in some depth, and then go out and present it in a form that, is, that can be applied to different types of groups, to different types of public. <coughs> now, uh, that is what we are about. That is what we are trying to do. Our task is very, very specifically a task dealing with Jews, and because it deals with Jews, it's very, very universal. There are two sides of the same coin. Every genocide is specific. I can't talk about Rwanda without dealing with Hutu and Tutsi. I can't deal with Cambodia without dealing with Khmer and Cham. I cannot deal with the Armenians without dealing with Turks, Armenians, Greek, Assyrians. The whole area, the whole problematic, very specific and very universal. Every genocide is specific. It's the specificity that is universal. It's a dialectical thought that I, pre I am presenting to you. Think about it. Let me finish by quoting a famous, uh, you know all that, a famous Jewish sage who lived about 200 before Christ. Hillel, he was called the Old Hillel. And Old Hillel was asked by a non-Jew to tell him the principles of Judaism. And Old Hillel said, the principle is, do not do unto others what you would not have done to yourself. Which everybody knows because Jesus repeated it in the, in the Sermon on the, of the Mount, chapter 6 in Matthew. But, you know, what people don't realize is that that wasn't the end. Hillel continued with another sentence, and the other sentence was, and now go and study. And that is, I think, what we have to do. Thank you.